After the first case of COVID-19 was reported in March 2020, the public did not know much about the pandemic, which almost the entire population of over 40 million people is experiencing for the first time. Later, the Ministry of Health issued guidelines to help in curbing the spread of the virus that has killed over 2,000 people in less than two years. In order to find out how people are responding to the current COVID-19 situation, Taweza conducted a research in June in Kampala, Chotera, and Tororo, which all have entry points into Uganda. According to the report, 47% of people in Kampala, 39% in Chotera, and 43 in Tororo found it hard to keep the two-meter social distance. 31 in Kampala, 30 Chotera, 17 Tororo find it hard to avoid public places and gatherings like funerals and weddings that are known to be big spreaders. 30% in Kampala, 18 Chotera, and 19 for Tororo. Remedies like ginger, lemon, and honey, and steaming are more common in Kampala. They are aware that, um, uh, that they need to social distance, at least keep two meters between them and another person. But in practice, 32% said they had actually complied with that in the last two weeks. Then uh, also the issue of uh, avoiding public transport, that we also saw that very few are mentioning that they actually are uh, paying attention to that, which could be an indication as to why uh, people are uh, flaunting some of the, the, the orders, like say, sitting on a border border and so on. The report further shows that more than a third of the households in all three districts report that more than one of the household members has taken a coronavirus test at some point. However, there have been reports of false results. A definition of false result is giving you a test that is not really, it's not the true test. Yeah? But when somebody tells you I was tested here positive, and then I went to another lab and tested negative, it doesn't necessarily mean that is false. It could be general, true. You had the virus yesterday, and today you don't have the virus. Testing for COVID-19 costs between 50,000 to 300,000 depending on the type of test one does. The PCR test is the most accurate and recommended for persons with non-COVID-19 symptoms. The government allows the private sector or laboratories to carry out tests, but there are complaints that some are duping their clients. So we want, first of all, NDA to come in. How do these substandard kits come in? We have told NDA. If a kit has not been approved by UVRI and the Minister of Health, bulk importation should not happen. Only a few kits should come in and they are validated. Where do these who are bringing in big bulks of kits, where do they? It's not my responsibility as UVRI. It's somebody's responsibility to enforce because we cannot continue because people are making money to provide substandard kits and substandard and the, it, it, it will counter our efforts to manage this pandemic. It will also give a bad image of the country to the outside. Another section of the public is also blamed for conniving with the lab technicians to give them negative results. It, 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 it carries also some level of connivance where the traveler himself asks the lab known to swab them, to swab air, to uh, just to put empty uh, swabs into the... Because this is, for, this is for your sake. You will move out to this country with COVID-19 and even fail to accomplish what you are up to at uh, those ends. The panel which led the discussion on the report and reactions had to say this as their concluding remarks. I want to encourage families not to receive people who are coming from abroad when they've not received their tests done in Uganda, the more we test, the more we, we avoid the possibility of having uh, COVID in our families. Half of the citizens would contact a health worker or facility in case of a suspected coronavirus case. Although the Minister of Health says that now the public can access free testing of COVID-19 at various government hospitals across the country, they have warned the general public against going for such tests when you do not have COVID-19 signs or symptoms, which include headache, cough, um, flu, and also joint pain, among other signs. Also, the people involved in testing, especially those who have private laboratories, they have also been warned against using kits that are outside the recommended two that were approved. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.